All right, so you know, we have someone very, very special, a very special father to us. Very special. You should know by now who I'm speaking of. And before I call his name, although you know who it is, there's something I've, met, I've wanted to say to him and his wife for many years. My, my father, my father passed away in 2012, remember? He had a stroke in the United States and he was brought back to Jamaica. He was to be, supposed to be buried in Kingston. And I remember the only three persons who came from South were Bishop Nepal, Evangelist Myrie, and Elder Myrie. He wasn't Elder Myrie, he was brother. He was evangelist. At, no, man, he was even evangelist at the time. He was just the youth president at the, th at the time. And Sister Mary. And they saw it fit to come to Kingston to assist and to just support us in the burial of my father. And I never forgot that. And sir, I want to say thank you for that. He's a father to us at TRC. Since I've joined this church, he has been a blessing to me. And I can say it openly because I've said it to him privately that he has been a blessing in helping me through my process of restoration. Bless the name of Jesus, everybody. Praise God, praise God. All right, to our Father, I always say this, whether I go up to moderate or to preach, I always say that he's my Father. He is. I mean, this man of God, he never gave up on me. I tell you, I give him gray hairs. Yes, I... <laughs> I did. I was one of the hard ones to deal with, trust me, for over a couple years well. He has been battling with me, battling with me, attitude and all. But he never write me off and, you know, he, he mold me as his daughter. I miss everything. He, he stood by me and because of him, that's the reason why I am who I am today. Praise the name of Jesus. But what I'm going to talk about now, you know, when you grow up with your father and so on, for those who had that opportunity, there are certain things that you're used to. You're used to what is called security. You're not afraid when you're in the house because, you know, daddy's there, so everything is all right. And I want to say today that I truly give God thanks for my husband because, praise God, I think I'm afraid of so many things, praise him. And the fact that he's there to provide the same security that I was used to, I just want to really say, put the, put the camera on him over there. <laughs> because, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be long in saying this because somebody is really coming to do it. But... I, last week or one of those days, I came home and he said, what if I was not here? He said he was just outside and one of the pipes just burst and the water starts spewing out and stuff. And he was like, in myself, I said, what if I was there? What me do more I make nice stand up look? I would not know what to do. But when I came home, that was fixed. Can you put your hands together for him? Praise God. The last point I'm going to make before I invite you to Tamisha is when we had the fire. That night, I saw him brave that fire, praise God. When the smoke was there and I could not see anything, but he was just facing it and he did not stop until the fire was completely gone. And I just truly want to say publicly, thank you for being a real man, praise God. And God bless you, my father did not give him a hard time praise God because my father said that he grew me with sense and so he knows that he trusted my decision and so I am grateful that he not just say you go check that or you go look at that but he takes care of the things that need to be taken care of you know I, I am just so speechless at first my last words because people know me know me talk a lot and uh, you know, today I just salute you, Pastor, for being a father to me and to all of us at TRC. You know, the, the greatest thing that you have given to us, you know, is the word. And it's the word that we live by. And for some of us, we know we can testify that at times, you know, when we want to do certain things, you know, go outside of the way, you know, we can't hear Pastor Mary in the back, of we, you know, just hearing voice in our head somewhere down there. And, you know, we just change our mind from doing what we intended to do. And today, sir, I salute you. Yeah. 
I salute you today, sir. I want you to know that I love you from the bottom of my heart. You know, and the church loves you. I want everybody just to stand. Bless God. I, you know, I thank you for every time when you sit and you listen to us. Not just me, but to all of us. You know, the time out that you take when you sit in the office and sometimes you sit down, as Sister Jennifer said, you sit down and you nod. You just have to take in, you have to take all the special treatment. Praise God. Because you see the people stress you out every day, so there must be one day that you can get all the special treatment. So I just want to present this gift on behalf of the youth department. We appreciate you, we love you, and we thank God. We thank God that you were born. We thank God that he willed it this way, that you would be our leaders. Holy good, you know, man, it's kind of heavy. But you know, God bless you. Enjoy the contents of it. Praise God. I just want to stand here to say to you both, praise God, that we appreciate you being in our lives. Praise God. And on the behalf of the men's department, this is just part one of a part two. Praise God. Towards um, your upcoming birthday, praise God. We want to say to you, sir and mom, that we love and appreciate you. Continue to do God's work because God has a perfect plan for you. Praise God. And so on the behalf of the men's department, I just want to present this little token. Praise God. Of our appreciation to you both. Praise God. And as I said, this is part one of a part two. Part two is coming. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Right. If that's it, we will just go at this time. God bless you. Mission oh, Missionary Crooks. Okay, Missionary Crooks will be coming to close the service. God bless your saints and thank you so much. Bless the Lord, saints of God. Praise God. Quickly before we close off, praise God. Brother Wallace, just make your way quickly, quickly. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Tonight. I want to greet our pastor and first lady in Jesus' name. Uh, tonight, we're going to invite our pastor to stand. Tonight is his birth night, right? Beautiful. So, Sister Pam Pam, please come and escort him to this chair for me. And I'm going to ask Evangelist Small. To invite his wife to escort his wife to this seat for me quickly beautiful so tonight is pastor's birthday and he is a reminder of bishop zachary nepal his birthday his anniversary he would be in church teaching and that's what pastor did today put your hands together for him and tomorrow is the first lady's birthday make some noise for her so this is the instruction on behalf of the men's president and all the men's department we present we want to present that little token of cake to you uh, you decide whether you want to cut it tonight or tomorrow and uh, this is the other instruction you may be seated since now pastor Last night, Sunday night, when you shook my hand out there, I must confess to you that we were planning for you. Right? So you came and you right into your own planning. So when you saw you coming, you said, shh, shh, I'm come. Now for tomorrow, now this wine is courtesy of the women's department. Remember on Sunday, on Sunday you were told by the men's president that that's part one. No, part two is tonight. So the brothers want you all to know that we appreciate you. Now, this is the instruction for tomorrow. I know you'll be off tomorrow from school. So I called your principal last week and asked her to give you the day off from school. <laughs> you get the blame for me sir and the principal's request, re response was Sir Wallace anything for Mrs. Myrie and so the men's department 
the men's department will be sending you, both of you, to Beaches Negril. <laughs> on a day pass. So you're to pack your bag. You must have your swimwear in there because you're going on the beach. All um, right, and Sister Michelle is coming with a gift. Put your hands together. I heard last on Sunday night that Sister Mary was wondering, how comes principal give me the time off? Yes, but this is the bomb. You, they deserve it, saints. They deserve it. And we wish we could send them to a hotel for an entire week. Because I know they're tired. And they still come over. So let us just give them the love while they're here, all right? I just want to say happy birthday to you, Pastor. And happy birthday to you also tomorrow. This gift is for you. And I thank you for just welcoming and making me feel warm in this church. Yeah. All right, so I, 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 I thought Sunday would have been the last time I would have said this. But um, again, I have to say this again tonight. That, um, well, the one that catch me by surprise, my shock, may I, be, may I tell you the truth? The one that, the one that licked me for six, you know? Um, <laughs> no, man, no, no, I sweat, it's sweat. It's sweat, it's sweat, it's sweat. <laughs> um, whoa. Oh boy. Um, I have to give God thanks for the best scenes that a pastor could ever have. And I say that from my heart. I'm speaking for those who God has given to me. Everybody can't speak for who they have. I want to speak for those who God has given to me, you know, to, to, to lead. And saints, nothing that you have done, no word of kindness, no justice that you have done has gone on unnoticed or unappreciated. My wife is lost of words. I'm just trying to speak because, you know, yeah. But, but since tonight, we're truly grateful. And when people get older, you know, when we were younger and getting older, we wanted it. But now you start to get older, you want to go back, but it can't happen. So these gestures really just encourage us and let us feel like it is worth it. So again, from the depths of our heart, Tonight is mine, tomorrow is hers, and we're saying thank you so much. To those online, to those online as well, we say thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.